Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back for the presentation of Sign. Make it simple to work. Right now we want to talk about customization of tags for the load flow. How we can do this customization? Okay, as you know that we can go to tags and customize and make a new layer here. First, I do a load flow. When I do a load flow, there is a power flow result that comes. You can select it from here or another way is that you go to load flow, click on output, select on one line diagram result tag and select the power flow result. So when you click on power, um, power flow, these tags will be shown automatically. Okay? So, but this data are the default of the sign. We don't want to have default of the sign software. We want to have our customized tag in software to be able to see the result as best and possible. So what I do, I go to view, tags and tools, customize, and I make a new tag, powerflow. Tag 0102, okay, 001. Okay, click on powerful or tag. I remove all the previous tag. Of course, we have three type of tags: information tag, primary side of uh, equipment, uh, two side equipment, secondary side, and tertiary side of the three port equipment. So here, I click on information. I need this parameter for capacitor, for capacitor, shunt capacitor. I need kilowatt, the default is megawatt, okay? I change M to kilowatt and kilowatt, that's it. So I have these tags for a cables. What I have is current, uh, balance current, power, okay? What I need to do, for example, here for cables, okay, I remove everything. I want to do it from first. I, it will be, go here, click on I balance, okay? And that's it. Balance through current based on ampere and put it power factor. Okay, equal to here. I click power factor and it will be comes uh, average power factor. Okay, so we have a lot of power factor, power factor of PV power factor. Every data are having power factor of A. So you can see all the power factor available here. You can select any power factor that you would like to have. So, okay, power factor, again, I put it as a power factor. And then select any of these power factors that you would like to have. Okay, average power factor. Okay, we select it as an average power factor. That's it. Okay, I go to next one. It will be power and active power. I put it kilowatt. It comes at Kilowatt total, total through kilowatt, okay, that's it, and I need kilowatt, Q equal to keywords, kilowatt, okay, total through kilowatt, okay, that's it, so I have total through kilowatt, what else, I need loading, okay, for the cables, I go to here, and click on loading, balance percent loading, that's it, what else I need for the cables? Maybe losses, active losses. Okay, so it will be active losses. Loss, okay. Equal to click here. I put again kilowatt. Let's see what we have. We have total kilowatt losses, okay. And then maybe I still I need the length of the cable. So I click here length of the cable. I want to see it in the calculation also. I put length. So I have length also. As well, I have a length. Okay, I copy paste all these. Again, click on overhead line and that's it. So I have this parameter as well as yeah, as well as on um, overhead lines. Let's go to induction motors. For induction motors, I copy and paste, but induction motor don't have lens, don't have um, losses. Of course they have, but uh, not, not losses uh, of the same as cable. Uh, 
spot load, uh, okay, spot load, I put the same, current, power factor, okay, that's it. I go to source, I put the same, current, power factor, uh, synchronous generator, okay, same parameters. So, transformer, okay, transformer, I need this. Maybe I need something else for the transformer. Maybe I need also keyword lossless that I can copy paste it from a cable. So lossless and loading also are available in transformers. I put it here. So I copy paste again here. So everything will be done by copy paste here. Bus ID. Then by after bus ID we have voltage. So bus ID will be name of the bus name of the bus and then what I have is the voltage of the bus I copy paste voltage equal to and the voltage in the per unit that's it for the node also I need to have these parameters but uh, uh, I need uh, only node ID okay node ID and the voltage in per unit I don't care for the node in angle okay so I have voltage in per unit so I have V equal to so I have node ID and the voltage of this equipment so right now let me click on okay what we have this data and our nice data if these data are not um, big enough I go here and put it for example 16.9 I change the reference size so it will be a bit bigger. Okay, maybe maybe I can also use it as a 17. So it will be more bigger. That's okay. It's, it's good. So here, but the color and the reference also is still not uh, good. I go to information. I want to apply this change to all the tags. I click on display arrow tag. That's it. And then what I see. There is a tag arrow for all the equipment. Okay, that's okay. For motor, there is for nodes, for uh, and let me go to here. Okay, here I have nodes, but the node tags are not proper. I think the node tags are uh, a bit big. I don't want to see this node tag. I have to do some modification. So I go to node tags and. Uh, make it small 25% just uh, uh, if I zoom it I can uh, see this tag again come back so this tag will be small okay as well okay let's go to other parameter cable I want to change the color for overhead line I want to change the color for induction motor I want to change a color for spot load, I change the color. For sources, I change the color to make it. And uh, of, of course, for this, I source, I put it as a bold synchronous generator. I change the color. And two winding transformer, I change the color. That's it. And bus bar. For bus bar, also, I think this color is it. So right now, when you click on one line diagram, you will have a very nice uh, tag and any data that you would like are available. So, okay, I save it. You have this powerful tag. But, okay, you want to share it with your friend. What I do, I go to customize. This is customized. I export it. This tag is powerful tag. Export it to powerful tag 001. That's it. Okay. Then, for example, I don't have this tag, so I go to tags and tools, and then remove this tag from my computer. That's it. Save it. Come, so I don't have this tag. I don't have, see here, this is input data tag. I, I remove it. So suppose that this is your computer, computer your friends, so you want to use your tag, or uh, it's your computer, you change your windows. Okay, import it. So powerful. Okay, so it will be powerful tag 001. Import it. When I import it, this tag will come. Import, use it, and you can see the same tag before, nice shape, any tags available here. So right now, for example, you have two or three 
type of tag I can select portfolio tag again change a layer so you can have more than 10 20 tags and you can show any data on one line diagram it's very really nice and you can share this tag with your friend thank you again and we come back to you uh, in the next presentation uh, for customization of the report thank you and bye